First of all, I woke up this morning wanting to delete the last nine or so videos so bad. I felt so uncomfortable this morning knowing that I had put so much out there about myself and knowing how flawed all of it was and is. But when I read so many of the comments on so many of the different videos, I realized that a lot of people haven't been able to put language to the way that they have behaved or felt or that they were in a relationship with someone like I was describing as myself. And my goal on my page is to always help people. My goal in life is to always help people. And with the last few videos, clearly to my own expense. Because when you are a people pleaser and a perfectionist, and it's not like, oh my God, I'm so perfect. It's like, oh my God, I have to be perfect or I will be shunned or ridiculed or worse. And so when you are that way to tell the whole world or anyone that watches your video on this humongous platform that the way that you pre presented yourself so for so long is, um, it's difficult to present yourself in that flawed way. But I have to say it's been really cathartic watching my own videos and really reliving those feelings and seeing them kind of by way of the video and it's been very healing. And to be honest, when I look back at even the way I was maybe a week ago, it almost feels like a different person, even though I haven't really done anything but some soul searching and making videos for other people and for myself. And to be honest with you, I don't really have the tools yet to figure out how to not be avoidant, to not be a people pleaser, to not not share. But I do start therapy tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'm hoping that the person that I am scheduled with will have some tools for me. I've also purchased two books to do a little research on my own about avoidant attachment and all of these other attachment issues that I have. And I'm going to do my best to explain in other videos how an avoidant attachment person is made. Because I want to be very clear, no one wants to be like this. No one wants to be on the outside of an intimate relationship with friends or family. These behaviors are not by choice. They are instilled over decades and many relationships that this is the only way to be because anything else is unsafe or has no worth. And we've been taught that there's many benefits to avoid and avoid intimacy. Not an excuse, just the truth.